you know, I, I have said all along that even the best properties don't bring top dollar unless they're properly presented to the market. And I really look at every assignment differently in terms of uh, what is the best way to maximize the value of the asset based on the, the goals that the, that the seller is trying to achieve. And sometimes it means going out to a very, very wide audience of investors, of publicly traded REITs, private REITs, high net worth individuals, private equity funds, offshore funds, uh, family trusts, you name it, we want these people in the hunt to bid on this. But there are other situations where uh, a more limited audience uh, can actually work to the seller's benefit. And that's where my expertise comes into play to help devise a, uh, a marketing plan. And, and if it's a, an owner user who's gonna stay at the property, uh, they might potentially want a very specific type of landlord uh, that has a reputation for being a good landlord and that holds properties for a long time and uh, maybe in the future could act as their equity partner or they need to do you know two million dollars in renovations and how can they work with that landlord to be their their source of capital uh, in exchange for maybe a little added lease term so there's a there's a lot of boxes that we check and that we look at when we're figuring out how are we going to maximize the value of this asset